Sherlock, uh, welcome Minister, I don't think I've met you before. Um, I'm bringing up the issue of the Central Men Mental Hospital uh, in Dundrum. The Mental Health Commission inspection in 2015 saw various areas of compliance of excellent standards and many areas of good practice displayed. It would appear that this hospital and in particular its staff are working to a high level and providing an excellent service within the confines of the resources given to them. The description of the hospital from that report, the Mental Health Commission, the approved centre was an inpatient service of the National Forensic Service. It's located in Dundrum and has 94 beds. The main building is over 150 years old and not suitable for the care and treatment of mental health patients. Plans for a new forensic hospital are progressing. Plans which you now are going to be realised in the site of Portran, and I believe the opening date, if you could confirm, Minister, is 2020. I've brought this matter under commencement today to discuss the facilities that we currently have for violent, mentally ill people while we wait for the new hospital to open. The Irish Times reported on Monday that Professor Harry Kennedy, the clinical director, told the High Court all 94 beds in the hospital are full and it's a waiting list of 24 people. He said that while mental hospitals in Ireland have been closed down, the necessary services are not being provided to look after people who would have been detained there. This sentiment was echoed by my old colleague and previous General Secretary of the PNA, Des Kavna, in, in his report this year. The correlation between the closure of hospitals and the increase in prison population of people with serious mental illness is inescapable. He went on to discuss the regular cases of violence and indeed homicide committed in Ireland when families by those who are mentally ill and he urged the government to review all such killings and assaults over the past 10 years and to come up with recommendations for a prevention strategy. To go back to the inspection report in 2015, the Mental Health Commission found there were eight units in Central Mental Hospital and this allowed the male patients to progress from acute care with high security through medium, low security and rehabilitation. However, all 10 female patients were accommodated in one unit, whatever the level of acuity, security requirements and rehabilitation needs. I wish to ask the Minister, do you think that facilitating the opening of the extra beds in the interim between the new hospital opening would improve these conditions? The report then goes on to say, due to the waiting list of seven patients in other approved centres, never mind prisons, uh, waiting transfer, uh, plans are progressing to renovate and reopen a closed unit known as Unit 5 and to provide 10 beds for those patients. The completion date for this was 2.15. Minister, those beds are ready, they have the duvets on and yet they are lying empty. It is clear that we have an issue here where mental health institutions close down, nothing substantial replaced them and those rare but real cases of people with mental illness with violent inclinations are slipping through the gaps and causing real harm within our society and to themselves. I ask the Minister if the Central Mental Hospital has reopened those 10 beds and if not, why not? And how does he intend to rectify the current crisis that we have in the interim before the uh, Portran is opened? I just wanted to add also, there is, I've been talking to various staff and it would seem that there's difficulties with workplace relations commissions, um, decisions that have not been implemented since 2012 and that this would seem to be holding up. Well, I would ask that the Minister intervene and get those negotiations going, bring people to the table and get these beds open. Gorham